Greetings dear students. In this session we are going to see about binary tree traverse. Uh, I myself, J. Robert Radical Raj of St. Joseph's College, the computer application department. So first we have to see a binary tree traversal in this section. What is a binary tree? A binary tree in the sense, I am going to give, give a simple knowledge about a binary tree. A binary tree in the sense, any parent should have at most two children that us that is called a binary tree. to have at most two children in the chain in the sense a parent can have one child or a parent cannot have a child it is possible but a parent cannot have more than two children there is a rule applied for a uh, binary tree in this binary tree we are going to see a traversal so we must know what is a traversal Traversal in the sense, I am going to travel through a binary tree by visiting each and every node. I already uh, told you that these are the nodes and these are the edges. With the help of the edges, I can travel from one node to another. Right? This is the main thing which you have to keep in mind. What is a traversal? I have to travel through a binary tree from the root node to all the nodes in that particular tree this is called as a binary tree traversal so binary tree traversal so how we how, what are the ways we can travel that is a thing which, uh, i am going to explain you let us consider a small binary tree this is going to be a small binary tree this is a parent node this node has a left child and a right child so i am uh, marking this parent node as visited node v and the left child as L and the right child is or so how, how many ways I can visit this node this is I can visit this node in six possible ways what are the six possible ways first I can visit the left node then I can visit the visiting node then I can visit the right node if not first I can visit the visiting node then I can move to the left node then I can move to the right node or I can visit the left node, then right node, then the visited node. So these are the things I have given here. First I can visit left node, visited node and right node. Similarly visited node, left node and right node. Then left node, right node and visited node. Or I can move, I can go with right node. Right node, visited node and left node. Or a right node, left node and a visited node or a, right, a visited node, a right node and a left node. These are the six possible ways I can visit this binary tree. Now, instead of using these six possible ways, I am going to minimize the number of executions. How I am going to minimize the number of execution? Just, I am going to take out of this six possible ways, I am going to take only three possible ways what are the three possible ways the three possible ways how i am going to take these three possible ways in the sense i am going to apply a rule left before right the left node has to be visited before the right node so this is the way i am going this is the way i am going to uh, visit this particular node if i am going to visit this particular node left before right so what are the things i get in the row left node this left node is found before the right node and similarly here the left node is found before the right node and similarly here the left node is found before the right node whereas when i go here left before the right node comes before left node so i cannot take this one similarly i cannot take v or l because the right node comes before left node similarly i cannot take or lv here the right node comes before left node so these are the three possible ways i am going to select by using the phenomenon called left before right left before right the left node has to be found before the right node this is the now i am going to give a name for each the each of these three how i am going to uh, I am, how i am going to justify that this is in order this is pre-order and this is post-order. I, I am going to check where the visited node is present. 
I have taken left before, right? Now I am going to check where the visited node is present. The visited node is present in between left node and a right node. So this is called as a in order traversal. So it is found in between. So it is a in order traversal. In this case, the visited node comes at the first. So pre, it, it is pre pwned This is pre pwned So the visited node comes at the first. Hence, it is a pre-order traversal. If I am going to travel this way, this is called as a pre-order traversal. The next one is the visiting node is found at the last. So it is called as a post-order traversal. Right? Uh, I am giving the name based on the placement of V. If the play, uh, V is placed right in between, it is called in-order traversal. If the V is placed at the front, it is called pre-order traversal. If it, the V is placed at the and it is called as post order traversal now how i am going to visit a tree using this phenomena so they are given in an in order traversal is the process of in order traversal is the process of traveling through the left child until a le until a leaf node is examined so we have to pass what this says actually we have to pass through all the left child starting from the root node its left child, then its left child, then its left child. We have to pass through all the left child and finally you will be at a place where there you cannot move. That is called as a leaf node. If a leaf node is examined, then that particular leaf node has to be visited. Then, see, then left node is visited. Then, by then followed by the visiting node then we are going to visit the visiting node then after for visiting the visiting node then you have to move towards the right see i have given you an example see this is a tree i am going to travel through this tree this is a binary tree each node will be having two children right this is the root node i am going to travel towards the left when i go to this node this is the left child and this is the right child so I am going to the left child. Then I move over here. It has a left child D and it has a right child asterisk. I am moving. I am going to move over here. Like this, I am move. I am going to travel towards the left. After this, I cannot move. So this is the leaf node. From here, I have. I am going to visit this node. So I have visited A. First visited A. Then, after visiting the left node, I have to move to the visiting node it is slash so the second visited node is slash then i have to move to the right node the right node is b right they have visited the b node after this i will move back this is going to be the left node this is going to be the visited node and this is going to be the right node if i go to the left node it is already visited when i go it is already visited so i cannot visit this node again then i go back and go back to visit this asterisk. Here I got an asterisk. Right. Then visiting the right child. When you consider this triangle, this is the left child, this is the visiting node, and this is the right child. This left child I have already visited over here, so I cannot visit it again. Then comes the visiting node that is minus. I can found, find it here. Then followed by the right child D here. Then I come over here with this binary, simple binary tree. This is left child and this is visited node and this is the right child. This visited node minus is already visited in between C and D. So I cannot visit it again. Again, I am going back to visited node and then followed by the right node. Then I cannot come back to the root. This is a root node. So I have no other go. This is the way I am going to visit the node. A slash B asterisk c slash uh, sorry minus d plus e so this is called as in order traversal now we are going for a pre-order traversal so how to go with a pre-order traversal pre-order traversal in the sense travel root node is visited first here they are not saying as to go move towards the left or something they are saying us to visit the root node. First, I am going to visit the root node. And we have to move towards the left 
by visiting each and every node in the paths. Now, I have to move towards the left, but in this case, I am going to visit each and every node and then I am going to move towards the left until a leaf node is examined. Now I have got a leaf node. After visiting the leaf node, then move towards the right and then visit that node. This is the process I have to follow. See, same tree. Now I am going to, first I am going to visit the root node. Play. Pre order. So this is a pre order. So first I am going to visit this node. Plus then move towards the left minus then i am going to visit minus then move towards the left then i am going to visit this node asterisk then move towards the left then i am going to visit this node slash then move towards the left i am going to visit this node a after doing this then i have to come back by a when i come back over here then i have to move towards the right child here i got the right child b right now b after going here after i cannot move after i cannot move further from b so i have to come back to c here also i cannot move further so i'll be coming back to d and coming back to c so this is the process first visiting plus minus asterisk slash a b c d e so this is the process of visiting in a pre-order traversal at last, we are going to see post-order traversal. In the post-order traversal, it is similar to in-order traversal. We are going to visit the node. Uh, we are not going to visit the node. We are going to just travel towards the left uh, until a leaf node is examined here. Post-order traversal, we have to travel towards the left node until a leaf node is examined. If a leaf node is found, then visit that leaf node. After visiting that leaf node, move to the right. In the previous case, we came back to the visited node, then visited that particular visited node and then we move to the right. In this case, we will be moving towards the left until the leaf node is examined. Then after examining the leaf node, we will move towards the right. After visiting the right node, then we will come to visit the visited node. So let us see how it works. Here I have to travel towards the left. I am not going to visit the node. I am going to travel towards the left from the root node. See, I am going to press minus asterisk slash a. I have, I have came over here. This is the leaf node. After finding the leaf node, I am going to visit this node a. Now, I am not going to visit the visited node. I will go to the left node. I will go to the left node and then visit that b. Afterwards, I will be coming to the visited node. So this is how it is going to left, right, visited. This is called as post order. So left A, then right, then B. When we consider this left slash, this node is already visited. So C, then asterisk. Then after this, when we come over here, this I have to go for the left child asterisk. This is already visited. So I have to go for D and minus. So this is dropped over here, right? D and minus. After I will come over here, this left node is already visited. So I will go to the right node E and plus. So this is how uh, post order traversal take place. Thank you very much.